Hello everyone, Derek Diablo, Diablo TV. The political series here discussing some political science, political theory, political history. I'm not involved in politics any longer, but I was involved in a lot of radical far left extremist politics, fighting neo Nazis, organizing Antifa, or being involved in sharp skinheads against racial prejudice, the strongest anti racist militant group in uh, American history, which I was the president of Florida. So, the subject that I'd like to touch on is something that I, it, I'm more fascinated by and I, that needs more documentation is the interwar period between World War One and World War Two because we have a lot of information and there's a lot of talk obviously about World War Two. You see Nazis and Soviet Union, blah, 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 blah. And obviously by people making documentaries and all these films, even if the mainstream media, they're using it, they're making money off it. They make these videos, they show Nazis in black and white with like fire and red film noir techniques and stuff. So even if you're saying you're against it and you're making movies against it, you're still spreading it, you're still keeping it going. So with that being said, what led to Nazism? What led to fascism? What were the conditions? Who were the people involved? How did the movements originate? This is the sort of thing that, that's more fascinating to me having been involved in Antifa, which is... Anti-fascist action, anti-fascist action. Not just anybody who's anti-fascist. That means what the whole majority of the world is anti -fascist. So then anybody, uh, so America was on the was anti-fascist. No, anti-fascist action is what anti is, and they say antifa in Germany and Europe and stuff. That's not how we say it in America. People are saying antifa is people who's not don't aim from the OG era when we originated. It's more people who jumping in, and they jumping in to what they don't understand, because. You go back to the roots of it, the roots of fascism, Nazism, anti-fascism, communism. America was not anti-fascist. Like they're anti-Nazi in the sense that they're fighting against the Nazis. Anti-fascism, anti-fascist is, is a term coined by Joseph Stalin. The anti-fascist front is Red Army, is the Soviet Union. Every communist is anti-Nazi. Every Nazi is anti-communist. Swastika, hammer, and sickle. So then, the anti-fascist action is clear. Ernst Stallman, he was leader of the German Communist Party, and he and he was leader of Rotter von Kampfverbund, RFB before that. So it's clear where Antifa starts from. The flag, it, you know, the, when the when they introduced it in 1932, you see the you see the, the the meeting they had where they where they kicked it off it has two hammers and sickles. He's the top Stalinist. In Germany. So now going to the other side of things, and now mind you, as I've said before, as is easy to research, the KPD, the German Communist Party, the anti fascist action, the predecessor of von Kempferbund, they're all against the government. They're anti government. That's their top enemy, which are the liberals, Democrats. They're even called Social Democrats, SPD. Look it up, the Weimar Republic. So these guys are enemies of the government, and they're also enemies of the Nazis, who are also enemies of the government, enemies of the police. So they're basically political gangs, you could say, right? They both want to overthrow the government, who ended up succeeding the Nazis, all right? But uh, it was the it was the Social Democrats, so it would be the center left government, so same as Democrats today, basically. So then it gets to the question of National Socialism. Does National Socialist mean Nazi? And the answer is yes and no, because. We call, the National Socialist Party is the Nazi, but they're not the Nazi party, really. The Nazi is a slang word that was that was thrown around. They ended up using it, but they're the National Socialists. Now, does every, is every National Socialist Nazi? Is it the same thing? A lot of people would rather say, yeah, boom, and lump it all together, especially if you're leftist or you know, anti-racist or anti-Nazi. Then it's in our interest to lump them together because we don't want to say like, okay, well that kind is not as bad as that kind, which is like, just group them all together. But there's danger in doing that, lumping a bunch of people together. It's like the other side saying, ah, oh, they're all a bunch of communists, you know. No, you know, every socialist doesn't believe in communist theory and there's no such thing as communism because communism never happened yet. We still don't understand it. It's a, it's a concept of Karl Marx. All we've achieved is socialism. So that's another discussion, but then now brings us to your... Strasserism, mm, because if there's an anti-Nazi national socialist group fighting Nazis in Germany, then obviously national socialist doesn't mean Nazi necessarily because there's 
anti-Nazi National Socialist group. So what you have to look into is Black Front. You don't know it yet. Most people are not going to know this unless you're, unless you're involved in all this. And a lot of people, even that have the flag and wear the flag, modern, which are liberals adopting this stuff. You got to be aware because it, does it doesn't got nothing to do with democracy. Neither one does. It's vanguardism. I don't believe in democracy. I believe in it for America, sure, but I don't think it's a good, I don't believe it's the best system. And then there's vanguardism, whether it's right or left wing, involves a vanguard, it's Leninism, which was perfected and, and finally systematized by Joseph Stalin. Marxism, Leninism is Stalinism. Different from Marxism, different from Leninism, Marxism, Leninism, Stalinism. So then, on the other side, but not really so 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 distant. You have the Strasserism. So you have the the Strasser brothers, Gregor Strasser. He was in the SA. These guys are SA guys, right? They're National Socialist original. The Gregor Strasser was killed, but in the night of the long knives. So the SS under Heinrich Himmler, which is now Hitlerism. So to me, Nazism, Hitlerism is the same thing. And Heinrich Himmler, SS, that's Nazism. But there is a National Socialism. That, that it's, it's uh, this is not a theory, this is the evidence that the Black Front was an anti Nazi group and their name Combat League of Revolutionary National Socialists. So, after the Night of Long Knives, you can go into the research and find all the dates out. But uh, basically, the Otto Strasser they want to kill him too. He's SA, they killed his brother in the Night of the Long Knives. He escapes, but uh, they, they have a different organization, he, he, he creates this Black Front. So it's an anti-Nazi group, German or origins. He was an original Nazi or National Socialist, and then uh, as he so he was out of it before German before Nazi Germany committed any atrocities or anything like that. And he did nothing but work against Nazism. He still has his theories, and some people are they anti-Semitic or not? That's for you to go in there and decide. Yeah, generally you're gonna say, but the anti-Semitic theories were were pretty everywhere. Like let's say, so I'm not gonna apologize. I'm not into it. I'm on the other side, but. The fact of the matter is, when you say left-wing Nazis and the socialist element, this is what you want to look into, the Black Front and the Strasserism. And, you know, that's where you start getting into now the more modern, like like the, the Boneface, the Ken McClellan, him and others, some in Ukraine, which is where uh, I think this this theory was more developed. It's NR Natsok, which is to say, so Natsok is National Socialist. If somebody says, I'm Natsok, like I'm Antifa, National Socialist. And our NATSOC, which is what the bone face represents, is the non-racial national socialism. It's anti-capitalist. Nazism is anti-capitalist? Hmm. Well, if you look at it culturally, which is where all this stuff comes from in the modern times, it would have been gone if it had not been the skinhead movement. But you look at the uh, bone face's father being Ken McClellan of the song of the band Brutal Attack. And their music, their form of music is called RAC, Rock Against Communism. Our form of music, RAF, Rock Against Fascism. So, then with the Rock Against Communism, Brutal Attack, number two band behind Screwdriver, Ian Stewart Donaldson, I would say, um, most well known, certainly, Brutal Attack, if you look at their song, R.A.C., Rock Against Communism, he says the lyrics, Rock Against Communism, the, and then the next lyric says, Rock Against Capitalism, the evil of the world, so I'm not going to sing the whole song for you, yeah, I do know it, but, uh, so then he's, in, he's saying rock against communism, rock against capitalism. Because you got to figure, Nazi figures that capitalism is, is a Jewish thing, just like communism. So then the Adolf Hitler, he wanted to get the Germany off of the inter, international finance, which then they look at as Jews. So you have to look at that. People say, oh, you, now you're going to be looking at you know, what Hitler did right. Well, he did something to rebuild their economy that was in, in ruins after the Treaty of Versailles. One has got off the, inter, off the international Capital, capitalism. Now, when you participate, when the government takes over, now is, is controlling your economy. Now you get into the fascism, the uh, uh, fascism of Benito Mussolini, syndicalism, top socialists in Italy before they kicked them out over supporting World War One. So nationalism, Benito Mussolini, and he creates the fascism. So it still came off of this original Marxism Leninism. But going into the Strasser brothers and then Otto Strasser and the Black Front. He worked with Americans, he worked with loads of people against the Nazis. And he's still National Socialist, he's Black Front. Combat League of Revolutionary National Socialists. That's a name, huh? Combat League of Revolutionary National Socialists. So, 
I'm not suggesting that you look into all his writings and you know weigh all of his theories. It's it's a form of Nazism, you know. But uh, can you put the, stu the 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 final solution and the concentration camps and all those things that we associate with Nazism? Can you put that on Otto Strauss? Or no, I don't think so. Is it, that's unfair. Now was he in that group? Yeah, but they this before that time, and then they try to kill him. They kill his brother. And then he worked with America. He were he never was a charge with any sort of crime or anything like that. He was he since he knew the party from the inside. He's one of the most valuable allies we had in fighting Nazis because he was one of them originally. And then he also had a personal vendetta to kill his brother. And the fact of the matter is, and I'll end it here. It's a very interesting character. There's no movies about him or anything like that. Maybe there's people are scared of people finding out about this. You know, our side is not in our interest to let that be known, really, because other people say, well, I think that's kind of cool. You know, so a lot of your alt left, I mean, excuse me, alt right, your modern alt right and uh, Proud Boys and so forth, um, I think a lot of them are, are trash rights and so forth, like there's a so called left wing Nazism, which is to say, not so much with the racism and, uh, and anti capitalists. Hmm, interesting. But uh, this Otto Strasser, after the fact, after Nazis defeated, you could look in on you could research the years. He went back to Germany and he had and he was gonna be leader again. He was gonna be leader, let's say that. He was popular. He was they were scared. The German government became frightened, the people became frightened that he's gonna start another type of national socialist party and everything. So they banned him for politics and everything like that. But his theories remain and they deserve their day in court and if we're gonna have these political discussions and people are spreading the Antifa flag. And when you spread and again Antifa doesn't mean anti-fascist. Otherwise, the, well, the whole planet more or less is Antifa. No, this flag is action, anti-fascist action. The armed wing of the German Communist Party fighting the Weimar Republic. <laughs> the SPD, the Social Democrats. So, I'll leave it there. Black Front. Strasser Brothers. Strasserism. S.A. Combat League of Revolutionary National Socialists, left-wing Nazis, third position, right-wing third position. I'm left-wing third position, national Bolshevist. <laughs>